So for today, I would like to start with the class of the Shri Shri Prema Bhakti Chandrika. Sure. Because we have only one hour. And so yes. it's good to concentrate a little bit. Sure. If you if you agree, we will read today the verse 28 and also pas partial things of 29, because that subject is a very interesting subject. It's about the uh, fixation in bhajan and fixation in Ishtadev. Okay, so, good, good. It is very nice what Srila Naratam Das Thakur is saying and how Ananda Das Babaji Maharaj is commenting. So, my humble obeisances to all of you and to our beloved Gurudev and to all our Guru Varga and to beloved Naratam Das Thakur and his Prema Shishi Prema Bhakti Chandrika. Apana apana pat tate hobo anurat ishta devas tane lila ga naishti kaba jane tomare kohilo bai hanumanta hate prama. So this verse is in the beginning of the Prema Bhakti Chandrika, and as we know, the whole book is like a Continuation from uh, Vaidhi Bhakti to Raganuga Bhakti and to Rupa, uh, Rupanuga Bhakti. It's like a guidelines how to uh, process our Bhakti on these levels and how to attain these levels and what to do, how to practice and how to overcome obstacles also. So, Srila Naratam Das Thakur says, I will remain attached to my own path of worship and sing the glories of my own beloved deity in his sacred abode. Oh, brother, I tell you, this is exclusive worship. And the example is given by Hanuman. So the subject of the purport of our dear Ananda Das Babaji Maharaj is called fixation in bhajan. Here Srila Thakur Mahashai mentions fixation in bhajan. This fixation both is in his worship and in his worshipable deity. Both these loyalties of the devotee are shown in this tree party. First, the blessed author mentions fixation in bhajan. Apana, apana pa, tate hobo anurag, ishta deva stane lila gan. I will always remain attached to my own path of worship. <laughs> nishta means motionless. And when Nishta awakens, one remains motionlessly fixed in Vajan. So I like this uh, start of how Baba is explaining that the you know, actually, the later part of development of Shraddha is called Nishta. And I remember Gurudev always said this, the Shraddha is a fluctuating faith. It is a beginning faith, sometimes here and sometimes there. Sometimes I like this form of Krishna and sometimes another form. But Nishta means motionless. It is a faith that is not moving anymore. Right, Gora? Like my, our Gora here is dying. Yes, we not move. <laughs> <They pass. laughs> so that Nishta, when this happens in our lives, then like Gurdi said, we can sit in Vrindavan and we can sit in our in our chanting. We can become motionless, 
means we don't need to run around in the mind. We don't need to run around in the, you know, from one place of worship to another place of worship. We don't need to do a hundred thousand parikramas. We don't need to go from one temple to the next. I mean, all of us have been doing that for many years, mostly. Going to Radha Damodar and, oh my God, I also need the mercy of Radha Ramahan. But I have heard also the mercy of Shama Sundar is so extraordinary. He found Shimati Radhika's ankle bell. But I heard also the Seva Kund is so amazing. Because in all the slabs of the stones of the Seva Kund, there are the verses of Prabhupada Saraswati Thakur of Radha Sudanidi. Oh my God. You know, Vrindavan is so full of mercy that if there's no fixation, one can become quite... Every day we do some parikramas to different, different temples with... Like Gurdiv said, the style fixed and motionless, that is the highest level of worship. One point is also interesting to read in this verse. I have to see <clears throat> my own path. This is very interesting. Now, my own path. So, not the uh, he not speak about the general path, but his own path. So that means it's individual. This is his path, what he is going. And that is what you exactly described with Stai Bath. If we find our own path, then it is, has to be Stai. Because otherwise we are running different paths here and there. But in that moment, we find our own paths. In that moment, we are fixed. And this is also very important, no? Yes, it's our own path. And it's, of course, the path that has been shown by the sadhus. And we fix not only our own meditation, we fix our sadhus, we fix our uh, worship, we fix also that special form of, of the Lord that is going to give us the desired relationship. That means uh, what he say, my own beloved deity. So he, two times he speak my own. And this is not a uh, zufall. By chance. This is not by chance. This is uh, uh, a, a special meaning what he put here inside. And this is exactly what we speak about. Uh, uh, Ishtadev, fix the Ishtadev, that means my own beloved deity. And uh, to, to be in Stai, that means my own path. So two, two things what Gurudev is uh, teaching are described in this verse. First, we have to fix our bath and our Ishtadev. And this is described in this verse, in two uh, 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 lines. And uh, when, when he read, when, when he speak about, oh, brother, uh, then he is uh, teaching his own mind. That means, oh, brother. Right? Jainanda? Yes. You agree? <laughs> so then he is also continuing that uh, the nishta means motionless and hearing the topics from the mouth of the sadhus will make all all problems disappear means all the uh, bad um, habits will disappear and fixation in bhajan awakens that comes by hearing and you all and we all experience it when we are in rindavan 
And we hear from all the sadhus who have been doing bhajans for decades, not only for a few years, but for decades. And they are fixed already and they are in their, you know, worship. And we are worshiping Srimati Radhika. Then this will uh, get rid of all the instabilities of the mind. Because the mind is always fluctuating usually. But to get the mind fixed so it becomes uh, a friend or a brother, we take the good association. Mm. And then he is giving uh, one paragraph very nice also about the, the difficulties that are possible and that we all know. And I like this verse and the explanations because these vices or like, let's say, hindrances or obstacles, they appear again and again in devotional life. And he's uh, quoting one verse from Srimad Bhagavatam that we all know. And I remember when we were in the book distribution uh, times, we always every morning before reading the Srimad Bhagavatam, we would quote it. You remember that? Maybe you also did that. Shingvatam Svakata Krishna Punya Shavana Ketana Stoya Badrani Vidu Noti Suritsatam Nashta Prayeshvabatreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Utama Shloke Bhakti Bhavati Naishtiki. <laughs> we always would recite this verse when we were sitting in the Sankatan van, so called book sellers van, and we would be so faithful in this process of hearing and chanting and singing together. And then Baba says, then when we do this, or actually Srimad Bhagavatam says, when one is hearing and chanting of the glories of Lord Sri Krishna on the path of the practitioner's recollection and destroys all inner special sensual desires from the heart. It is so nice. So we can transfer it when we are constantly hearing about Srimati Radhika's glories and the glories of her beloved and the glories of her dasis. Then they will destroy some, you know, ignorance from the heart. And what is this ignorance? He is also calling Laya Vikshep Apratipati Kashaya and Rasha Svada. So when one becomes drowsy, when one is chanting, this kind of like chanting but falling asleep at the same time, it's called Laya. Also relating to mundane things during bhajan. Like I try to fix on, on my Swamini, but then I, I, I am in the mind, I am in the cooking, I am in the whatever, you know, sometimes service related and often also problems with human beings. Then that is called big shape. Inability to fix, no? because the subject here is fixation in bhajan. And then even if one is not tired or if one is not distracted by different thoughts and, uh, you know, worries or desires, if one is not even able to do bhajan at that time, it is called apratipati. It is also very nice understanding why, because one has uh, qualities that are still impure in the heart, and that is... Uh, ba baba says uh, uh little inclination to do to be angry greedy or proud that is also another sanskrit word it's called kashai and that is also losing concentration on bhajan and another one is when one is uh, uh, actually trying to chant but has other things in mind like a delicious uh, feast or um, whatever, you know, that any de sensual desire, that is called Rashashvada. And when these uh, obstacles are overcome by mercy of gurus and Vaishnavas and listening and listening, then the fixation comes. And I was just uh, 
remembering also my dear sister Raseshwari, she says, after being three weeks now in Vrindavan, my mind become very good and really likes to listen and can fix more on the mantras and I feel more calm. And that is all our, you know, position. Our mind is always flickering or coming, you know, here and there. And sometimes it's with Swamini and with Gurudev. But many times we are externally oriented. You know, what do others think about me? Or what do I think about that person? And what needs to be done? So these are all the different, different obstacles of losing concentration in bhajan. But listening, and that is, you are so lucky in Vrindavan, you are listening from the very highest class of, of bhajan doers and bhajan uh, experts, then this will clear all these, you know, um, flickering thoughts and mental distractions. This, uh, you know, it is like a, a wave of uh, thoughts that is always coming and going. And then when this happens, because before we are at the at this point when the bhajan becomes stable, it is flickering, it is going up and down, and it's going like, you know, the waves on the ocean, sometimes strong and sometimes less, you know, the bhajan is uh, very uh, unstable. And then when this nishta comes, when this is happening, that we can really fix on the subject, on the worship and on our Ishtadev, then by hearing from our Gurudev, from our Guru Vaishnava, Guru Bhais, Guru sisters and brothers, and from all the wonderful Vaishnavas, then this can go out of the heart. It is like after we don't even know what happened. It's just like, oh, it became peaceful. I can chant now. And I don't want to stop chanting. I can sit now. I can read. I can, you know, meditate. I can do my inner meditations. And that's called Naishtika Bhajan. And that's what Godasunda also said, being attached to one's own form of worship and constantly remaining attracted to this. One has, uh, you know, Ishtadev, like us, we have Shimati Radhika. And then we have also the, the path of Bhajan that is shown to us by Gurudev from our Guru Parampara. And then it's... It's becoming condensed, like Gurudev always mentioned, condensed feelings. And this paragraph now, which is coming, is very beautiful. Where Baba says, and that I like also, the Ishtadev is the worshipable deity in the temple, or Shiguru, or a similar great Vaishnava, who are as worshipable as Sri Hari himself. To sing the pastimes of the Lord to them is the unadulterated means to attain prey. So he is very also clearly saying that the Ishtadev is the worshipable deity in the temple, but also our Gurudev, if we don't have an Ishtadev yet, our Gurudev is our Ishtadev also and telling us or showing us the way to our Ishtadev. Or if we don't have a Guru, then also any Vaishnava who is inspiring us, any Das, any Dasi, they can also be an Ishtadev. It's like someone who is fixing my uh, feelings. So I like in this. In our case, Suniti, we can see that actually our Ishtadev is sending uh, a person in our life uh, to fix us on her uh, um, fixed point, to say. And this is Guru. And so he is not different from her in this meaning. So he is giving us uh, the connection to her. 
but he is sent by her. Yes. No? So this is one line. So and he, he described this, we can say he is uh, also the Ishtadev because he is uh, acting under her uh, guidance. guidance. So he is uh, only a puppet to her because he is uh, connecting us to our Ishtadevi. We see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the origin source of our line. And we can, and he came in, in this abode to teach us about all these topics. We didn't know anything without him. And uh, Ananga Manjari and Nityananda are our first teachers in this case. And the mood came by Mahaprabhu. And who is Mahaprabhu? It's uh, the mood and the complexion of, Maha, uh, of Radharani. So there is, in this case, it's not a different between our Guru and her, because he is not, he never feel uh, in any case of uh, independency. He always speak about his Guru and his Guru. And then when we go to the root, we find out our Janavama, who is in direct connected to Mahaprabhu. And uh, so we can see there is Ishtadevi's meaning Guru, because he is the right hand of Ishtadevi. In this world, <laughs> and also in the uh, spiritual abode as Manjari. So there is not a, a real difference in between this. So we can see it, uh, I think, in this way, that uh, uh, when we speak about Ishtadev, we have a, 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 a complex system uh, what is teaching us and giving us the connection to her. Without Gurudev, his heartful relationship to Swamini. Without him, we cannot enter this connection. It goes heart by heart. So he bring it in this world under her uh, guidance. So we need the Guru to fix our Ishta Devi. And now Gurudev also sending them so much to uh, Madan Gopal Baba. Mm -hmm. Mahanidhi Baba. Mahanidhi Baba. And also, he also giving this example that this Vaishnava is so uh, worshipable, is so pure, and it's so, you know, one pointed in the service to Srimati Radhika. I want that you go there and you listen from him. You listen from his realizations so that your Ishta Devas, Dane Lila Gan, will be fixed, more fixed. That is so beautiful. That Guru is not uh, the goal, like Guru always says. He is not saying, oh, you are my disciples. You only have to listen from me. You only have to stay with me and only serve here. No, you go there and you serve this Vaishnava by mm. listening. You get uh, inspired. You get different perspective of his service, of his realizations. Mm. And that is all in the same category. Right, and we read uh, just a book from Anandadas Babaji, <laughs> uh, by the mercy of our Gurudev. He is teaching us that these are the most important books. So um, he, there is one, this is the same line, the same feeling, mood, uh, what we can find in the books of Anandadas Babaji and his explanations. Because if we read without the explanations, it is not easy to understand these verses by our uh, Acharyas. No? Now, Tamdas, it's, it's, now we read it, we understand it, but uh, you can imagine if we don't have uh, this translation, this commentary by Anandadas Babaji, and also the explanation of our Gurudev, we will not 
enter this uh, this bath. We cannot enter the feelings. We don't really understand the deep meaning in this uh, verses. What is behind that? This is the beauty of this. What is what you just read here? Mm. That there is a one system of meaning of what is Ishtadev. And also here, Baba says that Krishna becomes very happy when he hears about his own pastimes. <laughs> Isn't that really something? <laughs> Krishna becomes happy when we uh, say, Jai Shri Rade, you and him belong together and like this. <laughs> and he gives one example. When Sri Krishna heard his glorification through the mouth of Sri Rila, Bilva Mangala Thakur, he became most happy and personally called his poetry Sri Krishna Karnamritam, means the nectar that goes through the ears. Because our ears are so important that we feel this nectar of the glorifications in there, and not only by our own mind, but also listening from others and feeling the feelings of Gurudev and and also increasing the feelings of of others. That is a very special service. So Krishna, Krishna gave uh, uh, the poetry of Bilva Mangal uh, personally the, the name Sri Krishna Karanamrita. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Wow, Krishna gave this name mm -hmm. to his poetry. Wow. He likes it because mm. he understands, oh, my devotee, he is so much in love, he can understand my feelings. And then we also all know these feelings. If we try to explain our feelings, it becomes very complicated. <laughs> but if somebody speak and I feel, my God, they are speaking from my heart, then we become very attracted. <laughs> then everything becomes very easy. And I also like to uh, stress this one uh, sentence or share with you this one sentence that I really like in this purport where Baba says it is also a special service to Sri Guru Dev and the greatly realized devotees to sing about Sri Krishna's pastimes to them. That's very interesting. What In this book, Brahma Bhakti Chandika, it's mainly uh, speaking about Krishna. No, only in the beginning. Sri Krishna is always uh, all the, the, It's continuously also. Uh, what you not find in this uh, case in the uh, Vilap Kushmanjali, there is mainly much more uh, Radhika. And also in the translation, not only that Narottam does, uh, speak mainly uh, about Krishna, but also in the explanation of uh, uh, Baba, he also uh, take this point and uh, use more this Krishna. For me, when I read it, it was like a, a preparation to the next step of Vilap Kushmanjali. So this is, uh, I think it's a good uh, to come in by uh, mainly Krishna understanding and uh, they speak mainly about Krishna, no? and in the is beginning. A, uh, yes, also we can read later. Yeah, you are right. More, no? and um, I think it's a preparation to the uh, 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 for the Radhadasis. No, it's, it's for the more for the beginners. Yeah. It's inter interesting that is also in the explanation of. Ananda's path, the Shri Krishna's path. Right? Yeah, the interesting thing is though that Baba always goes in the flow with the commentary. Yeah. You know, like the next verse is also about this subject. But in the end, he will again speak about the glories of Sri Mati Radhika and Manjari or Dasi Bhav. So, you know, the, the Vaishnavas they have their own moods, and he is explaining that also in the next uh, verse, but they always respect others' moods. They never try to push anybody in another mood when they feel that someone is in that uh, desire to worship uh, their Ishtadev. And that is also coming here that 
Hanuman is giving as an example of it, Nishta, of this fixed bhajan and this fixed love. But I like, I first want to come back to this uh, um, special service to Shiguru and the greatly realized devotees to sing about the pastimes. So this is uh, such a beautiful service that Gurudev has created for all of us. We can share and we can uh, sing to each other. We can uh, inquire. And this all is helping us in our bhakti. And then the grace of Guru, Vaishnavas, and the Supreme Lord is attained, and then nothing remains unattainable for the practitioner. So I just want to encourage all of us to be more eager to, to do this, because sometimes devotees are also shy. They think, oh, I cannot read, my English is not so good. But it's not uh, the point. The point is really to do it out of eagerness to please the Vaishnavas and Shiguru mm -hmm. and then get the blessings. And by these blessings, slowly, slowly, our, our ability to express and to grasp our subjects and to express our feelings becomes more and more, uh, how do you say, relishable maybe or also <coughs> able, possible. So I just want to share this because I, because sometimes I get a little bit uh, discouraged when devotees have not so much eagerness to share or to read, because I think, my God, you are missing, you know, you don't know what you are missing. It's so great to read to Gurudev and to share, even if you feel completely foolish like myself, I feel always foolish. That is my uh, constitutional position. <laughs> But still, I like to share, I like to read, and I like to make a good if relish. And that is already in itself such a beautiful service. So that is Shingvata, Svakata Krishna. That is the purifying power of the hearing and chanting of the glories of Radha Mohan and all devotees. Somebody would like to share on this? I don't want that you fall asleep because I'm talking too much here. <clears throat> so, you know, like uh, this time, I don't know, like one night is very short. I little bit, you know, like uh, afraid to to talk because the time is too short. You know? oh, what to do? Maybe we also have one and a half hours, right, Nandaji, because the, uh, you know, I think it starts at five or five thirty. But don't worry. Now we are in the flow, and then we just share what comes, and then, you know, we still have half an hour. Don't yeah. worry. Okay, I I want to share a little bit. Maybe somebody already heard. This is. Uh, so I want to share a little bit Mahanidi Madhana Gaur Baba's saying. So yeah, this, very nice. So this bus eh, so remain attached on path of worship. <clears throat> so he's saying before chanting, we should do sankalpa. Mm. Sankalpa means like a bow. So. Because, you know, uh, my goal is like this. Say, like, my goal is radical seva. My, you know, my ishtadeva like this. So I'm doing for this. Like, you know, kind of, you know, kind of bow. Because sometimes devotee uh, just chanting. Without, uh, some, you know, sometimes we did, we did not say goal. Or we did not say ishtadeva, you know. Well, we don't say what to, do I want to do. So this is he saying, at first fix it. Mm -hmm. And then he was saying, his Guru Dev told him, even Maha Mantra, his Guru Dev is suggesting sitting one place and do chanting, not for chanting on the, on the shop or like a marketplace. Because he's saying, 
Like, you know, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Oh, I want to buy this one. Hare Krishna, Krishna. Oh, how much is this? Oh, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Oh, yo, yeah, this may be two or three. <laughs> It's, you know, we cannot concentrate. So, and so he, of course, you know, someone who is working, we cannot always sit and chant. Maybe, you know, especially Western devotee may not, may not easy to do this. But uh, his Guru Dev was suggesting him. And also, I, I told the Guru Dev the same thing. Yeah, I also suggest him like this. So, this bees, you know, it should not bring outside, better to bring Chota one, like a 27th uh, Mara. That is more easy, he, he's saying. Yeah, then actually, so, you know, of course, you know, someone who working like a Govardhan Parikiran without, you know, Uh, what is say interrupting we can chant that is okay you know walking also okay but especially shopping place is his he's saying he's a good day saying not too good <laughs> because you know we are chanting and then talking we chanting talking and then our mind is not concentrated the, after hearing all oh, that true this this say uh, uh, motion motionlessly fix in bhajan This kind of, you know, without doing prajarpa, nonsense talk or material talk, we try to fix a bhajan. That's also his, his teaching. Actually, yeah, that's good, you know. So we appreciate his, uh, his suggestion. So that's I want to say, Rade Rade. Yeah, beautiful point. So Ishta Devastani, that is also one nice uh, subject. Another meaning of Ishta Devastani is that to live in Krishna's playground, Sri Vrindavan or other such places, and to sing Sri Krishna's or Sri Radha Mohan's glories there is one of the greatest items of worship. So that is... Uh, It's such a nice meditation for myself that when we are there together and we are reading together, we are listening and, you know, we are churning the feelings. That is so the greatest worship already. Everything else is included. If we do, you know, any kind of service we might do, like going to the RT, we go... Uh, You know, we're doing parikrama, and but we do this actually with the feelings that we have gotten from the kata, from the rasa that we have received from the lotus lips of our Shigurdiv. And vibrating in this while doing our all, you know, mantras, while doing our um, services during the day. That is such a glorious and beautiful service already. So the hearing and the chanting is, is very important also to do it in the mood of our of our aspiring service to Shimate Radhika. Sri Vrindavan Dham is the place which greatly reminds one of Sri Radha Mohan's pastimes. And no place like this can create visions of Sri Radha Mohan's Leela Rasa in the heart of the singer or speaker. Hmm. That's, uh, uh, we can understand that this is not uh, different. Vrindavan is not really different from Radha Mohan. We cannot sing about them without Vrindavan and all the relatives who are there with them. And also, if we meditate on our own uh, part there, we can only sing, not in this material body, we have to sing on our spiritual body in, in the uh, uh, Vrindavan abode and together with uh, Radha Mohan there, no? right? So it's not different. Right. And... Uh, 
what I just like to explain in this book when when he read always Krishna, it is a, a so a sweet um, feeling what Nautam and together with Rupa and Raghunath, how they guide us softly from the God consciousness. This is a preparing to guide us by their own hand to Swamini. And because of this, here is mainly Krishna described, but he put us on his hand that because our background is mainly God consciousness, we all come from this that we believe that God is a man. And uh, they understand this and they know this. And so they pick us up on this point. And when you say at the end of the book, it's mainly or more uh, described also Radharani, then we can feel this, how they softly take us, our minds who are pointed on the God consciousness, who will bring us to Swamini's consciousness. Uh, what is a big difference? And uh, they understand this very well. And when we read Naratan Das, and then Rupa, and then Raghunath, we can see there is this is a system. This is also meaning of Ishtadev. They are one, like uh, our Guru is Nityananda, right? It is, it is the person, and it's also a system of, they work together. And here we can see this in these books, what we are reading, how this <laughs> principle is working, how they work hand in hand and bring us from one step to the next step. And so we can also see maybe in our own uh, example, when we start with the spiritual life, we are in a God consciousness. We have different backgrounds, but mainly it's God or maybe atheist or Buddhist or whatever. No? But I think it's unique, the understanding of the female God or the female Ishtadev. This is very rare to find. And so because Nityananda, in this case, he understands this, that it's not easy for us to take this point. And so he, he gives a soft, he brings us soft from one step to the next. No? So from, he picks us up on the point where we are and bring us by this beautiful books with a soft teaching to, Radi to Radharani. And at the end, we will see in Radhara Sudanidi or Bilab Kushmanjali, this is the most topic it's describing only her, the female goddess. Yes, wonderful. Also, now in this uh, ongoing uh, explanation of Ishta, Nishta or Ishta Devastane Leela Gan, he is glorifying doing the kirtan and doing the glorification in Vrindavan. And he's giving also example of Hanuman, who does not react when Garuda comes to say that you could serve uh, Dvarakadish. But when he hears that his Lord uh, Raghunath is calling, then he's jumping. There's one long leela about that, but I don't want to go into that detail. I just want to say that Baba, always is using all these examples to show us how it is important to fix one's feelings and to fix in one mood. Mm. And he's giving also in the next uh, verse the example of uh, Anuta, Anupama, who was the brother of uh, Jiva Goswami and uh, Rupa Goswami, and he also was fixed in worshipping Ram. And his brothers tried to inspire him to uh, meditate of Krishna. And then he says, okay, they are my elder brothers, they are my guru, I will listen to them. 
But in the night, when he was chanting Krishna Nam, he wake up and he was crying. His, he cannot give up Ram Nam. And he, he was crying in the night, how can I give up the lotus feet of Raghunath? I cannot, I have sold my head to Raghunath's lotus feet. I have sold my head. And then they also give him blessings and they were both embracing him and praising him and saying, blessed is your firm devotion. And then also I want to read the next paragraph when Baba says, when the devotee has thus become fixed in one particular form of the Lord, the Lord shows special mercy of such an exclusively surrendered soul. It must also be known in this framework that although the loyalty of the devotees for a particular deity is praiseworthy, those people who primarily aim in their practice of devotion at relishing sweet rasa should know that this cannot be attained in any greater way then by the worshippers of Rasa Gana Vikraha, Sri Brajendra Nandana. No other worship of any other form of Godhead can experience this. Mm. Particularly, that is now on this next page now, particularly Sri Krishna's adolescent form reveals a greater sweetness. And the girls of Braj relish that unrivaled sweetness of Sri Krishna through their matchless wealth of feelings called Mahabhav. Amongst these girls of Braj, Sri Radharani is the greatest. Her five senses, like the eyes and the ears, are the enjoyers of Sri Krishna's form and her love is the gate to that relish. Her love is the opening. Her love, Shimati Radhika's love, is the opening gate. It's the door to the service. Just as Sri Krishna's sweetness is complete and limitedless, similar Sri Radhika's love is complete and limitedless. Therefore, Sri Radha alone is able to relish Sri Krishna's limitedless sweetness through her complete Mahabhav known as Madana. So beautiful to meditate on this. What is limitless? When there is no limit, that means if you think you find the, the limit, it's just more. It's high, it's, it's, it's more. It's unlimited. more. Yeah. That is unlimited. So when Mahabhav shows her uh, potency, then even Krishna is overwhelmed, overwhelmed, and he become unconscious because he cannot get her full power to say in uh, feelings, and uh, then. He, he, he is there in one case, he's uh, for Swamini, he's then in that moment useless, but she is not satisfied. So then uh, the service of the Manjaris starting because Swamini is calling them when they, when he is overwhelmed from, uh, from her Mahabhav limitless and uh, then the manjaris has to bring him back to conscious and how they can do this it's also beautiful no so there is only one thing that the maid servants can do what radhika not can do and this is to glorify her name she will never do this but by the by listen her name Krishna comes back in conscious. And so we see in how many 
uh, kinds the uh, service of the manjari is needed in the past times because of this unlimited bath mahabhav uh krishna is is overwhelmed and and we have to bring him back to conscious that they can continue the pastimes limitless yes we can see this that that is the point no unlimited and krishna says e prema dvare nitya radhika ekali amara madhuri amrita asvadesa kali in chaitanya chaita amrita through such love only radhika can relish all of my nectarian sweetness so here again baba is making the connection that only through radhika's love only through her service through her mercy the gate to that service can be open and he says although the individual souls cannot relish this like shri radha a fortunate soul can be blessed by the attainment of that relish by following shri radha and becoming eager for her service wow. Wow. are you happy now again yes jai jai shri radhe ah gurudev do we get your blessings today Jai Gurudev We have not hearing you No sound is coming Mahatma No voice Yes now Radhe 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 Gurudev Mahatma ji Bar is giving our Jananda Maharaj also said very nice. Therefore, we are so lucky, Gurudev, that you are inspired when we read something. I feel always foolish and always full of, you know, impurities, but still you accept the words through our mouths because they come from Srila Ananta Das Bhavaji, from Naratam Das Thakur, and if we can only learn how to repeat them with a little bit of love then you are satisfied gurudev it is so uh such a beautiful service and all the devotees maybe also give us blessings they also like to listen they like to feel what comes across in these feelings we are blessed that this is possible with this service really i feel Thank you, by listening mahayan words to you yeah. today good if that was very interesting to read about what is the meaning of the ishta dev wow. that this is this is a uh, uh we cannot sing about our ishta dev without uh vrindavan without all this what is together what what fits to the ishta dev no Thank so you. this is a such a clear understanding of that what is the meaning that uh, that it all exactly is together this this what is meaning of ishta dev ishta dev is never without rindavan for example no right and all the relatives are together with ishta dev and right. when we fix that then the stay yeah then name become more tasteful wow uh, jananda mara said very good 
Mahanidhi Swami said, chanting is sitting in one place and without talking and chanting. That is also very deep subject to practice. Mm. And two things is a very good teaching is to live and live how to do. Mm. So I have to share one thing if if it is possible. Is it well, sure. so this actually Mahanidhi Swami, we are such we are asking which part is in Chaitanya Charitamrita in 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 Manjari Baba. So you know he he's mentioned, I think, uh, some lira picking flower and drawing the ocean. And then he said, Adidira four okay. chapter and Raman Raya's conversation also in, 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 in Manjari Baba. So he did not mention exact verse, but today's verse, one of them, I guess. So this Suniti Didi is talking, Eipre Madhuare Nitya Radikara Ekari. Amara Madhurya Muta Aswadada Sakari. So this is actually Adirira for one hundred thirty nine bus. So Pavupada did not mention anything in this bus, but Anatas Baba's you know interpretation we could understand. This is indirectly mentioned how Manjari Baba is great. Because this mentioned only Radhika by the strength of her love tastes all the nectar of my sweetness. Means taking shelter of Radhika to oneness with feeling with Radhika. We can taste this Radhika, uh, Krishna's uh, nectarian sweetness. All, all the nectar of Krishna's sweetness. Yeah. This, this is very beautiful, actually. Baba's explained so beautiful, Suniti so Didi mentioned. So this also, Adidira, four chapter, this is very interesting. Yes, I want to add that. Yeah, oh, Jananda Maharaj, yeah. You find very deep things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Also, also, if we, we have time, I want to share another thing. This 108 page, Baba mentioned, my most worshipable Shri, Shri Guru Maharaj once said, when your service, the Vaishnava that reside in Shri Vrindavan, by speaking topics of Shri Hari to them, you will achieve a greater treasure, even the, the attainment of the Lord. So Gurudev was making this sharing is actually greater, you know, we can, we could achieve the greater treasure, even than the attainment of the Lord. It means we may, we may attain more higher, the radical seva. Rade, rade. <laughs> that means we attain deep feelings. Yes. When we go in this subject, then deep, deep feelings are coming. This is the when we connect it to our Ishtadev. Hmm. Huh? Ishtadevi. Yes. When we connect it to her, we are connected to our brothers, sisters especially sisters, Gurudev, Vrindavan, then everything is full, unlimited. Yes. Yes, and he also gives this example, just attaining Krishna is not meaning that you can really be in a sweet relationship. And he hmm. gives this example of the demons that are also very close to Krishna, like Kangsa. Day and night he was meditating, oh, is he going to kill me? <laughs> but that is not favorable. 
that is not loving that is like a you know some very very distant kind of uh remembrance of krishna that is not in his loving favor mm. that's what baba also says but if we do it hearing and chanting in the company of the great saints who reside in vrindavan that will be the guarantee for a delicious taste of the flavors of god and the most delicious flavors are becoming as dasi of shimati radhika because wow. that's the closest the closest and the most intimate relish hmm. of serving and also receiving service that is not cannot be compared to any other kind of relish any really wow jao jao amritavan yes when we reach the lord then mainly we have a desire to him but when we speak about the topics of vrindavan we speak about his past times and we remember him uh to radhika and this is a different thing that uh we are in our service and we do this service to him so we give something and not we take and this is also on the other hand we also speak about him and then radhika is listening so this is not that they are not there and not listen no we are we th- we not see them but they are they are with us and they are guiding us jai ho yeah jai ho <laughs> and today good day before we finish because we have to go to to give the the zoom to our kirtaniyas i would like to ask a blessings from you for our uh, rajeshwari she wants to come to vrindavan soon gurudev wow. wow. and uh, she wants to stay longer she wants wow. to stay a long time to get really the mercy and to get the blessings and we want to ask you gurudev that you help because she has to do some things here Jai Yoga Shakti is also coming huh she looks like that <laughs> Really wow and she needs to get some things here done that she can stay a longer time now she is uh, retired and she can come without restrictions gurudev please give blessings for